Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the React Intermediate Series. In this episode over here, we're going to be continuing where we left off. Um, so basically, now we have kind of like this top bar uh, going on over here. And what we want to do is we want to continue uh, migrating our old uh, app over to the new Fronto template structure. Uh, so uh, essentially, we want to, you know, we the first thing we probably need to do is make the sign-in page work so we can do everything else that we need to do, which is, you know, to make network calls and sign in and access our data and all that fancy stuff. Uh, so in order to uh, get access to our sign-in page, uh, let's take a look at what we're tackling over here. So here we are. This is the sign-in page. This is the old code base. Uh, so notice the difference here. So basically, the invoiced UI is where the old code base is. And right now, this is the sign-in page that's coming from the user over here. So what I really want to do is I want to uh, copy this code over and then start to replace piece, uh, pieces of it uh, part by part. So for example, page auth, this is coming from the components directory. So we'll need to copy that over as well. Uh, so let's start off by copying the sign in page. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call invoiced um, and assets over here. So this is our new directory structure. And in the pages, I'm going to create a new folder and called it called it auth. And basically the auth, we're going to have a new folder called sign in. So this is where our new sign in page is going to live basically. So now I'm going to create a new file, call it index.js. I'm going to paste the whole thing into here. I'm going to do a, a, a search for semicolons and essentially replace it. So we remove all the dependencies for um, for this guy, uh, you know, for, for the semicolon here. So we need to obviously replace the auth components over here, uh, the auth page style. So I'm going to go into the components and I'm going to go into the new folder and call page. And basically here we're going to create the auth.js. And essentially now we're going to copy stuff over. So let's go ahead and take a look at invoiced UI down here. And we're going to go into the app components page auth. So I'm going to copy this over simple enough. Uh, should be pretty straightforward for this. I'm going to paste this down like this, do a search, and again, replace the semicolon because you don't want any of that stuff anymore. Uh, so this looks simple enough, right? Uh, we've got the props of children. Most of the stuff should work right out of the box. We should not need to do very much. So we need to just copy the styles over as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a new um, auth.sass and basically copy over the auth.sass stuff from the components, copy, and paste, like that. So this should be it in terms of the auth.sass. So now we have auth page wrapper. I want to underscore page wrapper and a form wrapper. All right. So let's convert all this in here. So uh, if I'm importing the style, it's going to be like auth.sass. And here we're going to have style name. And we're going to use a string auth page wrapper and title. So style name, title, just like that, and remove the class name. And basically here we're going to do styles form wrapper. So it's going to be style name form wrapper. Uh, also animated actually for the uh, animated, we're going to do class name animated fade in like that. And we can remove the old class name altogether. And extras. So uh, this is going to be style name extras. That's pretty much it. Uh, that's I think that's all we really need to do here. Um, and we export auth. So we also need to kind of like do the in index for the page component over here. So import auth from auth and export 
off like that. Uh, so basically now, you know, when we import uh, this guy here, uh, we're going to do a components page and it's going to be off like that. So it's going to be something like that. Uh, so now we're going to remove all this stuff to just be simple auth. That makes it easier. Uh, that makes it simpler uh, in essence. So uh, for the link, we want to use link from router five. All right. So yeah, um, our, this whole template comes with the React router five package, and that's going to allow us to create our own links. So this is the first link we're going to be creating in this series. So you'll see exactly how it all works. So before the link component is going to work, we need to uh, set up our routes correctly. So the routes, um, I feel, you know, it's a lot more similar to the Rails routes than, uh, you know, than than the original than the React router stuff. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to head over into the config folder, and we're going to go to the router. So actually, we're not going to do much over here, except for change the default route to uh, dashboard. So we're going to we're going to use the dashboard. Actually, leave it for post for now. Uh, but essentially, we're going to replace this as a, you know, the, the dashboard is going to be the default route. Um, so the routes over here, this is where we make all the, you know, the fancy uh, routing stuff. So here, I'm going to open up a new object and I'm going to do name, auth, path, auth, children, an array. And here we're going to do name, sign in, path, sign in, and then we're good to go. So you can see here, you know, it's it, there's no JSX. It's much cleaner. It's much simpler. So now what we can do is we can create, uh, we can, you know, a call auth.sign in, and let's see what that gets us. So I'm going to head over into the auth. Uh, sorry, in the sign in page over here. So in the pages auth and then sign in index, we are going to use uh, route name and then uh, auth dot sign in. So uh, we're not going to use user slash sign in user slash sign in anymore. We're going to use auth uh, slash auth slash sign in. If you want to call it user, you can call it user. But I've I feel it's a little bit nicer to call it um, you know auth dot sign in. Well, call it auth if you will, slash off slash sign in makes more sense. Uh, so that's got to have an equal like that. So that looks good. Uh, extras is doing just fine. And let's see class name sign up, uh, blah, blah, blah. This looks good. All right. Um, so all right, we have the buttons dot sass as well. Uh, so let me see where I can get that from. And yep. So styles, buttons, let's see if we've copied that over. Um, I'm going to go over into the, uh, let's head over into the new project over here. Styles. All right, we don't have buttons. So I'm going to copy this guy over here and I'm going to head over into here styles. I'm going to create a new file called buttons.sass. And I'm going to paste this whole thing in here and we don't have a um, we don't have a flat UI colors anymore. Uh, so we're, we're not even using flat UI color. We're just using base light blue, base light blue, base dark orange. So that's all coming from over here. We're not really using any flat UI colors at all. So uh, essentially what we can do is we can import this guy um, into our component. Uh, thank you for subscribing, uh, whoever that was. All right, so uh, I'm going to head over into the sign in page. And essentially what we... Uh, one over here is like we're using but this buttons dot base. Um, so uh, essentially, there's no style for this page. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to do an import styles of button to sass. So that's going to work just fine. Um, however, uh, things are slightly different. We no longer need to do something like this anymore. Uh, so this is going to clean up our code quite a bit. So I'm going to keep the class name the same. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the style uh, name, and I'm going to show you guys, basically, you can just do buttons.base. Isn't that nice? No more JavaScript templating and, you know, interpolation and all that stuff. So that's just it. Simple. Buttons.base. Yeah. It's got a nice ring to it, right? All right. So that pretty much gets the buttons working for us. Um, is there anything else? I'm checking if we need to do anything else here. Um, 
Nope, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and try and render this. I'm sure I broke something somewhere. I always do. Uh, actually, so this uh, inject user observer and all won't work. So we need to uh, essentially comment out a lot of this code first and, um, you know, comment out this line as well because we're not going to do much with the observer. So I'm going to change this to a component, not a pure component. And I'll explain a little bit why that is later on. So here we're going to change this to sign in and here's going to be sign in just like that and essentially what we want to do here is uh, we want to export um, so here so all right so we need to create for every segment we have we need to create something like this so what is this uh, so this is the route node file for our uh, sections segments in our in our app so I'm gonna create the index over here and basically, I'm going to copy this guy over and things are going to change a little bit. Uh, so once I paste it, we're going to have route node from router five. Um, and here I'm going to do auth. And basically for the create element, so it's just going to select from a page. So we do an import on the sign in. And here we have the sign in page. And here we have sign in. And routes... So basically what this is going to do is it's going to uh, get the route. So the route node will have access to the router. And basically it becomes a, a prop. Uh, you know, the router becomes a prop. And essentially we can get the route name. And we're going to do a split dot one because the route name, what we're going to get is something like auth dot um, sign in. And when we're doing a split, so it's going to be a string, right? And we do a split. So if we do a split... Uh, with a dot. So we're going to split it with a dot and the, we're going to get that element one. So element zero is going to be auth. Element one is going to be signed in. So that's going to be the name of the page that we're rendering. And that's why we have this create element over here. So basically this is now we're just selecting which um, page we're going to create element with. And that's returning that essentially that's, that's all that is. And so basically this whole thing feeds into uh, the application over here. Uh, so basically it's going to get, um, sorry, this whole thing feeds into this part over here. So this segment, and that's how we have the code splitting. And, and yeah, essentially that's how it works. So uh, let's see this in action. Uh, I've kind of like created a default over here. Uh, and called it, um, you know, a, a collection. So I could probably simplify this a little bit by creating a, you know, higher order component, but we'll talk about higher order components a little bit later. All right, so uh, essentially, now we should be able to go to our auth sign in page and have everything work. So we need to do a replacement on one more place. So I'm going to go into the guest. This link over here, we need to do an import link from react router five. And here we're going to do the link route name auth dot sign in. So href can disappear. And we're going to close it out with a link. Just like that. Alright, so I'm not too keen on using direct text, like, uh, you know, the sign in word over here. Uh, I'm going to talk about internationalization a little bit later. Uh, but it's coming very soon, I can tell you that. Uh, so here we have auth.signin. So let's go and see what this looks like on our front end. So I'm going to head over here. Of course, I broke something. So let's go and take a look at what that is. Route node.add respects routes to have named and path defined. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and do a bit of a reboot. Uh, I think my select creating the routes didn't take effect or I broke the route somehow. Ah, so uh, I did a type over here so path is wrong uh so that's why it wasn't working uh so if i head over back over here so now we have the bar back everything is working again if i do a reload there's no more errors except for the source map i'll figure out how to fix that later um so if i click on a sign in page you'll see we come to the actually to the sign in form and everything is intact which means our conversion was good um so you know everything it pops perfect 
so we have one problem. Uh, you know, we added the animation uh, library. Well, we added animation in our auth page, if you will. You have this, you know, animated fade in. So you may be wondering why it's actually not fading in. It's just popping in. It looks really bad. So uh, let me explain to you why that is. That's because we haven't set up the, um, the animated library just yet. So, uh, you know, I didn't do that as a default because some people might not want to use it. But essentially, uh, if we want to use uh, the animation, it's very simple. We can just do and I believe I already in installed it in here. So animate.css. Did I? No, I did not. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to close this out and yarn add animate.css. And that's going to install the library for us. All right, so we have animate.css in here now. Uh, so if we import a CSS like this, if we want to use it, we can just go into the base, uh, the base.js that I showed you guys earlier. So we have a main and we have a base. So the main is kind of like the entry of the app. Uh, you don't want to mess with that too much. Like most of it can stay pretty much the same. Um, but for the base, this is where we add our global dependencies. So for example, well, things that are shared across segments and stuff like that. So import, uh, animate, Dot CSS, animate dot CSS. So that should fix the animation stuff for us. So yarn run dev. All right, so animation is now working. So if I go back here, I have pose. I go here, I have sign in with the fade in, a nice fade in form. So everything is now working in terms of the sign in form. Uh, the next thing we're going to need to convert over is the user store. Um, and basically user store is taking care of, you know, maintaining state of the, you know, whether we're signing in or whatever, it basically handles kind of like the session for us. So, uh, that's the next episode coming up. Um, for, with, for now, I want to wrap this episode up. So, uh, if you found us on YouTube, uh, check out our website as well. We have a ton of content like related to react and building an API to support your react application. Um, so if you're interested in building that sort of stuff, check out our, our, our website, codemy.net. Um, you know, we have a lot more content content planned. So also become a member. Uh, some of the videos on the site may not be available for free. So you'll need to become a member to, in order to watch those videos. Um, and with that, I uh, also want to thank you to all of our members who are paying. Uh, and, you know, that's what's keeping the lights on, literally. Uh, and with that, I want to wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next episode.